saluton kai felician halo venon. Hodiel mi sur havas la costumon de futbal ludanto. Gi echavas mi an nomon sur la dorso. Mi decidis doni al vi mallongan simplan lezionon. Kiu temas pri magio. Gi esas parolo de la Sorcisto Prospero en la teatrajo de Wilhelmo Shakespeare nomata La Ventego. Unue mi simple legos la tekston, poste mi explicos, mi clarigos la signifon de la texto al vi. Nun magio plune estas. Sole mi malforta restas. Dum tri horoi estas vere che vi agis ne severe cun mi duco de Milano, chi un timis calibano. Chi am ciuin mi pardonis, al mi vi approbon donis. Spite je la usurpulo, mi ne restos en l'insulo. Ne Apollon, tui nin sendu. Ne procrastu, ne attendu. Cun rem manoi de applauro, Anca cun voce venta laudo, brave helpunin el fari nian celon sen erari. Se petanta mi ec pecos, mi pardonon envi vecos. Preju por ni, ho popolo, che citie ec ne solo de malamo sin vidigu. Nin, gefratoi, liberigu. La fino. If you came here to hear some Esperanto, well, I hope you enjoyed it, because that's enough Esperanto. Now let's explain what it all means. I'm speaking English from here on out. So I'm going to translate this into modern-day English as we go along. You can compare the Shakespeare text original and the Esperanto version on your own time. I'll put all that in the video description. But let me just translate it as though I was, for the first time, reading this and not familiar with the Shakespeare play at all. So, nun magio plune says, now there's no more magic. Uh, alone and weak, I remain. He just had thrown his spell book and his magic staff into the ocean, kind of said, nay, enough sorcery, let's go back to the world of men. Dum tri horoi eses vere, que vi agis ne severe cun me. For three hours now, it's true that you've acted not severely with me, the Duke of Milan, whom Caliban feared. So he's saying, you know, hey, thanks audience for putting up with all this, and notice it's kiun timis Calibano. If I said, who, yeah, me feared Caliban, that would be weird. And that's kind of the word order here, but in Esperanto, you can say that, you know, as long as the N is there, we know, oh, the receiver of fear, or being feared, is me. I'm the one that Caliban feared. Kiam chiwin mi pardonis al mi vi aprobondonis. When I pardoned everybody, you, you gave me approval for that, and spite yela usurpulo, usurpi is to usurp, so uh, in spite of that usurper, I am not going to remain in this island, in Enlinsulo. Now that's a little weird. Enlinsulo. Usually, in Esperanto, you only trim la down to l, you only elide it, after a preposition that ends in a vowel sound. So you can take della and make del. Cella, cell. Yella, yell. But enla, enl? You're really not supposed to do that. He's bending and if not breaking the rule here, but it's a lot of work trying to rhyme all this stuff and fit it all into so many syllables following this meter and all that, so we're gonna give this guy a pass here. But you don't wanna, just because you see it here, don't, don't start doing enl as a thing. Let's try to avoid that. But I'm not going to remain in the island, in Sulo. Neapolon tu in incendu. So, uh, you might be a little confused looking at that. Wait, what's the object of the sentence here? Is it Naples, Neapolon with an N, or is it Nin? Ni is we, Nin is us. So, what's happening here? Well, saying you send us, sendu Nin, send us, tui means immediately, so immediately send us to Naples. Well, there's not room here to say al Neapolo to Naples, but another way we can word that is Neapolon. That N, instead of just meaning a direct object, it can also mean direction towards. So, you know, point us in that direction and we, you know, send us on our way toward Naples. Neapolon. If I wanted to go to London, I could say al Londono or simply Londonon. Let's go to London. Ne procrastu, ne attendu. Don't procrastinate. Don't wait here. Um, and this next line threw me off. Kun rem manoi de applaudo. Kun rem manoi. What's rem manoi? 
Rem. Remy is to row, so rowing hands. Then it dawned on me, oh, this is a word picture. He's saying, all right, so I just threw out my spell book. I don't have any magic left. I'm about to get on this boat, but uh, what if the boat doesn't move? How am I going to get back to Naples? Hey, you, audience here, you guys, you guys can do a little spell for me here. Take the hands you'd use for rowing, and why don't you get us going by applauding? So instead of rowing us home, you'll just, you know, bring it home, guys, come on, and applaud. And I realized that because I read the next line, Ankau kun voc venta laudo. So also with your cheers of, yeah, yeah, bravo, what a great play. <sighs> That's filling the sails with the compliments. So between the rowing and the full sails, your cheers and applause is going to bring us home. This is also, you know, secretly a pitch for getting a good, you know, standing ovation at the end here. Uh, so with rowing hands of applause and with... Uh, sail filling of uh, voices and wind of praise bravely help us el fari so fari is to do or to make el fari is it, it's uh to thoroughly do something and really do it all the way through so really see it through to the end so we wouldn't say faregi to greatly do something but it's kind of like putting egg at the end of, of of a verb to you know if i just think about something oh me pensas but if I really think something through and really just dwell on it, and boy, that'd be mi el pensas, la, la problema, no? I'm really thinking it all the way through to the end. I'm getting to the bottom of it. So here, you know, bravely help us see this through to the end. Get us all the way home to Naples with one big cheer, basically. Uh, and Nianzelon, Senerare, you know, help us get home without making any mistakes along the way here. Se petanta mi ech pecos, mi pardonon en vivecos. If I, pe you know, petty is to request something, so I am actively requesting something, and if, if I, in this active requesting of me, uh, you know, I might even be sinning in how much I'm asking of you. I know, to clap after three hours of us performing, that's, that's asking a lot, but uh, maybe, maybe I'll uh, wake up a, a spirit of, of forgiveness in you. Maybe you can pardon me for even suggesting that you clap at the end of all this. He's being sort of overly modest here. He's saying, Preju por ni, ho popolo, que, uh, pray for us, O oh, you people, popolo, populace, the people, you know, pray for us, people that chitie ech net solo, that right here, not even an inch, solo is an inch, it's not a Star Wars movie, it's solo, uh, an inch, not even an inch what? De malamu sin vidigu, that not even an inch of hatred will make itself shown, or will show itself, seen as reflexive. So, um, you know, pray that not, no more hatred will be there, we've had all this bickering in the play, and all this tension and conflict, you know, pray that love and peace will reign here. And then at the end, nin gefratoi liberigu. So nin, us, we're receiving the action here. Gefratoi, this is the direct address. Who am I saying? Uh, fratoi would be brothers, but ge means both sexes. So brothers and sisters, please, I beg that you now liberate us. Liberigu, make us liberal or free, literally, you know. Uh, make us able to go on our way with your claps, your cheers. The end. Okay, so... That is the epilogue of La Ventego, or A Mighty Wind, if you want to call it that, or, as in the original text, The Tempest. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day.